Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Every year, the NHL's All-Star Weekend brings together the greatest players in the National Hockey League to have a bit of fun midway through a gruelling regular season schedule, and to put the talents of some of the best hockey players in the world on display. The light-hearted and entertaining skills competition is a great way to see how incredibly talented these hockey players are, whilst the All-Star games the following day are high offence, limited defence affairs, where fancy deeks, perfect shots, and stunning glove saves take precedence. Though the league's top superstars and generational players make up the bulk of the All-Star rosters, there is always a surprise player or two each year that get an invite to the festivities, thanks to a standout season in an otherwise strong but average career. However, no player's appearance at the event has been more unexpected or as controversial as this one. This is the story of John Scott, the unlikeliest MVP of the NHL All-Star Game. In order to tell this incredible tale, allow me to take you back to December 1st, 2015, when the National Hockey League announced a fan vote to determine the four divisional captains for the 2016 NHL All-Star Game in Nashville. Fans were able to cast votes online or via a mobile ballot for one player from each division, regardless of position. The player from each division with the most votes would be named to the All-Star roster and given the C to wear on their jersey during the event. As players were chosen and votes were cast, the usual suspects, such as the Crosbys, the Ovechkins, the Carlsons, the Doughties and the Luongos, were very much leading the race. However, with this newfound power to help shape the roster, and the freedom to choose whoever they wanted, some fans began to make joke votes for players that very clearly weren't all-stars. One of these players was John Scott. The 34-year-old enforcer and Arizona Coyotes forward had racked up 544 penalty minutes and scored just 11 points in his 286-game career, spanning eight seasons with seven different NHL teams. The idea of selecting Scott, a journeyman in the league and a career role player, as a captain of an all-star team quickly caught fire, and soon enough, hockey fans everywhere were placing their votes on the enforcer. Once voting had ended on January 1st, 2016, and the votes were counted, on January 2nd, 2016, the league announced that John Scott would serve as the captain for the Pacific Division team, having received the most votes of any player eligible. Though this was a triumph for all the fans that had voted for the journeyman role player, the league weren't too happy with an enforcer serving as captain, and their system being made into a mockery. In order to try and combat this embarrassing result, according to veteran hockey analyst Bob McKenzie, the NHL and the Coyotes asked Scott to remove himself from the role as captain, and the All-Star game entirely. This was later verified by an article written by John Scott for the Players' Tribune, titled A Guy Like Me, which you should definitely read if you haven't already, in which he states a senior member in the NHL tried to convince him not to play in the game. Then, on January 15th, 2016, just two weeks after his captaincy announcement, Scott was traded by the Coyotes to the Montreal Canadiens, along with Victor Bartley, in exchange for Jared Tenordi and Stefan Fournier. Scott was then immediately sent down to the Habs AHL affiliate, the St. John's Ice Caps. Though Coyotes general manager at the time, Don Maloney, 
insisted that the trade was purely a business move, many fans began to speculate whether the move was made to try and keep Scott out of the All-Star game, as he could potentially be ruled ineligible to play since he was no longer a member of a team in the Pacific Division. However, upon hearing the response from fans calling for Scott to serve as captain and for justice to be served, on January 19th, the NHL declared that Scott would serve as the Pacific Division captain. On January 31st, 2016, as the All-Star Weekend got underway, John Scott put on the Pacific Division jersey, donned the C on his chest, and took to the ice as the captain of an NHL All-Star team. Scott ended up playing the greatest hockey of his career at the event, as he scored a pair of goals and dropped the gloves for a light-hearted joke fight against Patrick Kane in the semi-final game, en route to the Pacific Division, besting the Atlantic Division by a 1-0 scoreline in the final to win the tournament. In doing so, Scott was named the MVP of the All-Star Game, thanks to his play on the ice and how well he embraced his newfound role, both with his teammates and the fans in attendance. Following the event, John Scott returned to the St. John's Ice Caps of the AHL and scored four points in 27 games, before being called up in April of 2016 to play in one final NHL game with the Montreal Canadiens, where the enforcer went scoreless in his Habs debut. After the game, Scott was given the choice of either returning to St. John's for the rest of the season, or returning home to Michigan to see his family, which he hadn't seen in almost two months. Scott decided that he wanted to see his family again and returned home, thus ending his season. The league, however, were a lot busier. As a result of this chain of events transpiring, the NHL quickly introduced an amendment to their rulebook, which disqualified players from being named All-Star captains if they are injured or get sent down to the AHL, which was promptly nicknamed the John Scott Rule. Also, the way in which fans could vote for their All-Stars and their All-Star captains changed. Instead of fans choosing who they wanted to vote for, they get to vote from a selection of players chosen by the league deemed worthy of a call-up to the All-Star game. On December 7th, 2016, almost a year after his MVP performance, John Scott officially announced his retirement from playing professional hockey in a Players Tribune article titled Five Goals, Four Kids, One Hell of a Good Time. The helmet he wore at the All-Star game is now in the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, and Scott's agent has also been approached about a potential film based on his career, which is now in production with Mandalay Sports Media and has been for the past couple of years. He may not have been the most productive player in the league, and he may have been the furthest thing possible from a superstar, but John Scott's performance at the 2016 NHL All-Star Game captured the hearts of hockey fans everywhere. Seeing how much the opportunity meant to him and how lucky he felt to be there with the best players in the world made everybody realise that voting for him was the right thing to do after all. And with that, I am going to end today's video. What do you guys think about John Scott being named All-Star MVP? Was it good? Bad? Or do you think there should always be a unique player at every All-Star game? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Dave, Martin Tolness, Max Artis, Nat Marlowe, Paul Malia, and The Legacy for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, 
make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.